Ellie. Hold on one second. Getting my headset plugged in. Whew, running around like a crazy person to this afternoon. Can everyone hear me? We'll check levels here in just a second. <sighs> we will check levels here in just a second. Hopefully you can't hear my music double. Now you shouldn't be able to for sure. Turn that down. What's up everyone? Yo, we are live. Chat. Hello. The beard is back. The beard is back, ladies and gentlemen. Nice candles, dork. Hey. You know I'm not responsible for these. How dare you. I'm telling... I'm telling M, Tom. I'm telling her. You better watch out. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna be getting spicy tonight. You better you better buckle your seatbelts, everybody. Oh, that's pretty good. We got a Maker's Mark Manhattan this evening. I just wish I had the proper glass. We're, we're serving it in the highball tonight. Oh man, that was a bad call. That was a bad call. <laughs> You're treading on thin ice with that subject. <laughs> I work I work very hard at putting as much money into the office while making it look like I'm not, all at the same time. So I switched up the camera a little bit. Can you guys see? Oh, you can. You can see the background a little bit better tonight. I switched the aperture on my camera. So hello everybody. Let's let's see who we got here. We got Salty Nutted, Tire God. What's up, Eric? I see you, OGK, Rahulk. What's good, everybody? Who is that? Drax, Draxion, Draxion, and Tom, Tom Agent Hubcap, and and Ma Mark, Marksy, Marksy fourteen. Hello, everybody. Welcome, everyone, and everyone who's just lurking. Hello to you too. Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, and soon to be a Happy New Year. Um, we're gonna be streaming before New Year too, so next next week we will stream as well, I think. Um, probably a personal build, so we're gonna be getting spicy then too. The mustache might be back next week. It's getting close, chat. What do you think? So happy, happy, happy holidays, everyone. Um, tonight's gonna be a fun night. Tonight's gonna be a fun night, chat. Did anyone, did anyone see? Did everyone see Andy's stream on? Uh, what was it? When did Andy stream? Andy streamed the same board that we're about to stream tonight. So I hope y'all, I hope y'all tuned in for his Eru building as well. But if you didn't. You are in store for a treat. If you did, you already know what's the deal. You already know what's the deal. We've got a very special Illuminati build tonight. <laughs> that plush is scary. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> it's got the insano. It's got the insano eyes. <laughs> with the bulging, with the bulging eyes. <laughs> we're gonna put him we're gonna put him right here he'll be kind of just staring at our keyboard all night tonight here we go what do you think chat how about how about right here <laughs> just have him just have him right here all night <laughs> We're streaming earlier tonight. We are, we are. Um, I hope uh, I hope that's not throwing everyone off completely. Who's traveling for the holidays? Everyone staying local? Doing their part in this crazy coronavirus world we're living in? I'm not going too far. Going up to the in-laws. We've been 
we've been pretty much uh cause what's good brother we've been uh we've been pretty much um isolating with them anyways so the people while i am traveling up to pennsylvania i'm going to the same house that i've been going to throughout covid and we'll be there and back so we're seeing we're seeing my mother and father-in-law so no big deal Oh, but yeah, better be nobody. We don't shame anyone. A little bit of, little bit of light travels, you know. No big deal if it's people you've been isolating with the entire time. But yeah, it is. It's kind of a drag of a year, right? A little bit, a little bit weird. A little bit of a weird year. Did everyone hear about the uh, the new checks that might be coming out? Kind of a crazy day for the news. More stimulus checks potentially on the horizon. Maybe I can finally lock in a 3080 if uh, if those come out. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's go ahead. I forgot to do something real quick, chat. So what's, uh, what's everyone drinking tonight? Anyone joining me? Anyone still working? Anyone working tomorrow? Hopefully not. Hopefully everyone's done for the holidays. I certainly hope y'all are taking it easy now at this point. Thank you so much for those follows there, Neon Kid and Captain Fishberg. I appreciate that. Give me just a second here, chat. We're just sending out a couple messages here. Just send out the messages to the crew. Because we gotta let people know what we're doing tonight. It's a big night. OGK, you're at work right now. AKA Unicorn Round Two. Is the Unicorn Round Two announced? I've been, I've been, admittedly, I have been off the grid. I have been, I have been head in the clouds, AKA work, for the last couple of days. So it has been limited in terms of keyboard updates for me. I, uh, I regret to say. That's unfortunate. I'm blowing my stimulus check on Keeves. There you go. Yep, so the so the so the nice big cup of Folgers coffee. Mr. Folgers. Okay. Jaguar leftover sale will be soon. There we go. There we go. Jaguar is pretty lit. Yeah, the around 2.1 is finished seeing scene. They just backed up a bit. Oh, so you know what the other update I just got? TGR has got new bags. I'm pretty stoked on this. I haven't gotten one yet, but I have a buddy of mine who sent me an image of a TGR package they just received. And TGR has got new bags. Do you want to see? Can I, I I'm gonna leak, I'm gonna leak someone else's image. Leak someone else's image. I have already given away a couple of Portico keyboards, um, and let me see here. Let me see here. Let me see here. I might just try and give away another one tonight. Don't hold me to that yet, but I might try and give an, away another keyboard tonight. Um, yeah, so, so the Portico keyboard, um, yes, obviously, uh, being uh, kind of affiliated with the key dot company, um, I have got one on the way um, that, that I will be building up, and uh, I need to check to see if I have permission to, but I'm going to see if I can give that unit away after I build it up. And so maybe a little like post-Christmas, post-sort like sort of holiday, pre-Happy New Year treat for you guys. 
Um, so, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, we'll probably be doing a giveaway on that. Um, I might do another giveaway here tonight. I need to figure out what, um, if, if I have something, if I have something. Okay, so here's the, here's the leak. Here's the leak on the TGR bag. So, yeah, look at that. It's like a silk screen. It's a silk screen actually on the bag itself. And then it's a bronze. It's a bronze zipper. <sighs> Very clean looking. So this is not mine. This was uh, an image that was sent to me from a client. Um, but but yeah, pretty pretty exciting stuff. TGR Jane V2. CE or this no not the CE nope so the TGR Jane V2 CEs have been shipping just in the normal like super thick padded boxes um, Sam hasn't done any bags for those um, the bag the keyboard that came in that was a TGR police so the polycarbonate Alice one of those came in there lulls with the four months what's up good what's up good dude What's up, my brother? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what's up, what's up bro? So, uh, so yeah, I hope everyone's doing good here. Let's let's get right into it. Um, we've been we've been live here for about twenty minutes. Um, how about a keyboard unboxing? Who's ready? I pulled a dub for my first raffle ever this week. The Enigma of Vertigo. Nice. What color did you get? That's big. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, okay, so first and foremost, take a look at the Oh, what happened, OGK? What did I miss? Oh, hold on. I, and let me catch up the chat here real quick. Um Stimulus check is more of a heavy grail. Did you see my highlighted message again? Uh, okay, no, 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 I'm sorry. So I hope everyone's doing as well. I'm so hyped this week. I got my first HHKB. I got a flawless HHKB hybrid on Mech Market for only $200. It was my first experience on Mech Market 2. It was actually pretty good. Dude, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Mech Market's not too toxic. As long as you have money. <laughs> sounds like you got a uh, sounds like you got a good deal on that one there, GK. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean to miss your message. I was uh, I was kind of uh, in uh, off in you know the clouds. I, I don't know where my head was at. Um, hopefully, I didn't miss out on anything else. Hello, Max, and chat from Helix Lab staff. Victor Lungen. Hello, 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 Victor. It's good to see you. Are you by chance? Are you by chance Neon Kid? I. Uh, I don't, I don't know if, no, there's Neon Kid. Hello, we've got a couple of uh, Helix Lab uh, members in, in chat right now. Hello, everyone. Um, no, Neon and I are from Helix. Nice, awesome. Well, welcome, Victor, and, and welcome, Neon. It's good to see you guys in, in chat. Um, chat, if you, if you guys have any questions throughout the process tonight, um, you know, it sounds like it sounds like we have a couple of members of the Helix Lab crew uh, hanging out here with us. So, there's some good news. Just in case I have any silly questions that I that I can't cover off of knowledge myself already. He, we, uh, Rico and I have been talking. Um, I think Rico is probably asleep right now. I think it's I think it's pretty early still his time. Um, but but maybe he'll hang uh, hang out with us here uh, as as the morning starts to get a little bit later for him. I think he's in China, so um, yeah. So it's probably pretty early. Um, so yeah, hello, hello. I'm boring, so I got gray. Agent Hubcaps, what did you get? Oh, you got the gray Enigma Vertigo. Nice. Okay. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Gray is uh, a good one. The purple though. Oof. That purple so good. Yo, Jax, what's good, brother? So, so here we go. So this is the this is the header that comes with it. Look at the look at the old school wax seal on this thing. How cool is that for Max? Merry Christmas from from Rico, from your friend Rico. Yeah, how sweet is that? And then and then it comes with this card here, which forgive me. 
I won't be able to read portions of this, but this note serves to f serves as a confirmation. I can't even read the English part. Hello. This note serves as a confirmation for your order of Eru. We are deeply grateful for your trust and support. Hope you're as excited as we are and welcome to our universe. Helix Lab. Oh, hello. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Little spinner. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool card. Nice little personal note there from Rico. And then we also got their plushie too. So we've got the plushie off in the corner here. Now, wait until you see this box chat. This thing is pretty lit. Very, very excited for this. Look at this box. Like, even the box is cool. I feel like I should like unveil, unveil the box. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a. It's just like something that would go on your. This would go on your bookshelf for sure. Look how cool this thing is. Yep. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this one with the keyboard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, chat, I would be lying if I said I didn't try to break out some Indiana Jones attire. I was looking for a hat earlier today that would serve as an Indiana Jones hat, and I already had the shirt. I was ready to go there. I couldn't find the hat, though, so the hat <laughs> threw, it threw the whole thing off. <laughs> Alright, so the keyboard is right under here. Wait until you wait until you see this chat. Boom. Look at this. Feast your eyes on this chat. Look at how clear that CNC is. Those hieroglyphics are incredible. Ooh. The Illuminati weight. So if you get like keycaps or something shipped with it too, those would go those would go like right in there. Do you guys remember seeing that like arrow cluster set of keycaps? How cool is that? Custom indeed? Yeah, I should say so. Absolutely. Here, hold on. Just wanted to put that aside so I didn't lose it after turning it upside down. So that's the middle piece that goes in here. And forgive my fingerprints, I apologize. And then there's a LED diffuser in the back. So it's a nice, it's a nice low profile. So, hmm, perfection, absolute perfection. So yeah, we're excited. We're excited for this one, chat. I wonder if you can tell. <laughs> This is the prototype unit, not for resale, but designed by Helix Lab, established 2020. So now if you don't know, Rico and the guys from Helix Lab that ran the Aru TKL, uh, they got uh, a good amount of insight on this keyboard um, from uh, the likes of Fox Labs as well as AIO3. Uh, both designers, AIO3, as well as Fox Lab, 
uh, helped out uh, in in minor in minor or major ways. I'm I'm not sure the extent of the way in which you know they they helped to to assist with the design elements of this. Um, but but you know those guys are incredible. Fox Labs and and AIO3 are just at the top of their game right now, and so really really cool stuff. Super excited to to see this board in action. So here is the plate and PCB. Now it's a fixed plate with a muted liner. So kind of similar to the, uh, let's see what you're seeing in Fox Labs and, and AIO3's designs with that muted uh, layer there. Um, can you go to the washroom? You certainly can. I won't stop you. <laughs> um, and, uh, and yeah, so now we do have, we do have a Sagan bottom row on the way with, with a carbon fiber. It's a thin boy. It's a thin boy carbon fiber plate. And so I do have, I do have another PCB and plate on the way. Tonight we are building it up with the uh, standard TKL bottom row with the 6U and the three modifiers on the right, four modifiers on the, or three modifiers on the left, four modifiers on the right, as you can, as you can see, you can see that, you can see the layout we're working with here tonight. So let me show you real quick. So here's the, here's the liner here, and then here's the, here's the PCB, a purple PCB, top facing, all the LEDs on the rear, and then you can see the silk screen here on this guy, PCB designed by Helix Lab, powered by QMK firmware. So they do have uh, this working. So this is a, and you can see, Helix Lab engineering sample. So this is some of the proto, this is, a, this is a prototype PCB as well here. So potential changes here for the group by run, which they are going to a group by, uh, I believe for the Western side, uh, right? Um, you know, in, in the future. Um, there hasn't been any official details on that yet, but keep that in mind. If anyone has questions, in mind this arrow will come in wind keyless or not. Uh, it will, do not worry. Yep, yep, so wind keyless layout will be provided. Uh-huh, that is true. Um, the final PCB will be black and red color scheme. There we go. So there you have it. Good to know. And uh, any tips? Uh, a tip, maybe lower the music a bit? Oh, absolutely, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I, uh, I can turn that down just a tad. There we go. A couple of decibels there on the music. Yeah, let me know if that's, let me know if that's better. I, I also had the microphone a little bit further away. Did I have my microphone? Hold on one second, chat. Did I have my microphone volume a little low? Hold on one second. Uh, I have my microphone volume a little bit low. Chat, don't, don't adjust me yet. Hold on. Okay, my microphone should be turned up to its proper volume now. Sorry about that. I was running a couple of sound tests earlier. Um, hold on, and and one more second here, chat. Do not do not adjust your speakers. If not, maybe even turning them down a little bit here, uh, just for a moment. Maybe turn your speakers down a little bit lower for just a moment. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay. That should be better, and now we should be able to turn the music back up to where it was. There we go. Okay, that should be good. Test, test, one, two, test, test. Go ahead and let me know if the music and sound is leveled properly. I'm sorry about that. I was doing a sound test on another keyboard, and my audio levels, I did not readjust them after fixing that. So let me know. It should be good now. It should be back to the usual. Ah, back from the washroom. There you go. The name, the name checks out. Little, little peeps, little peep. <laughs> In between breaks to the washroom, taking little peeps. <laughs> All right. 
Well, yeah, you, you didn't miss much, just kind of going over the PCB and plate. The only thing, uh, the only notation we went over is that this will be available in a wind keyless layout. You can already see that there's cutouts in the case for a wind keyless option. And, uh, and yeah, the, uh, the PCB in its final form uh, will be available in a black and red silk screen, as opposed to this uh, purple uh, that you see here. Now that gray muted layer kind of, you can see it between though. All right, let's go ahead and put some bump ons on. There we go, I'll hydrate. Cheers everybody. To those of you drinking here with me this evening, hopefully y'all are done with work for the rest of the year and the holidays. Happy New Year, happy holidays, everyone. Helix Lab just followed, there we go. Is that, is that, who's on the Helix Lab account? Is that, is that Rico? Here comes the R, Rico. That's awesome. We've got we've got the whole we've got the whole family here now. Hello everybody. So happy to have everybody from the Helix crew here hanging out with us tonight. Chat. By all means, feel free to uh, to ask any questions you may have to uh, to the Helix Lab crew as they are joining us here for this build. And, uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thing here and start building. You can ask me any questions as well that you may have. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, by all means, I will try to answer. What's up, Artemy? Good to see you, brother. How are you doing? I almost went to the arts and crafts store today, Artemy, to, uh, to get some, to get some uh, silk. I need to get some silk, and I also need to get um, uh, some canvas backdrops. There's a good question. When will the group I run? I'm assuming you mean for the Western crew, uh, because the group I has already run for the uh, for the uh, for the first round. Go ahead and lose this middle liner here, and we will go ahead. And do we want to insert the weight now? Let's go ahead and get the weight in there. We get to uh, we get to put a new toy to the test here tonight, chat. Look at that. Let's see if I have the proper hardware for this. I've never I've never used this before. This is actually this is actually a new a new toy. I think these are the hex screws we need. Bro, it's Wix. We got the whole crew here. Oh, do I need to do I need to pull it from this side? Hold on. I, I went from the wrong angle. So these these things are pretty cool, but they're kind of difficult to get to, <laughs> if anything. I think this is the size I need right here. Nope, I need a size smaller. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to get, if I use, if I end up utilizing this, I'm definitely gonna need to get a smaller size, or a smaller, like a more efficient way to store these bits. <laughs> Damn, Max, you'd be looking different with that beard. Artemy, did you even see me when I had the, uh, when I had the, uh, the mustache? Oh, now that's, now that's fancy, chat. Look at, look at us go. Look at us go. Wow stick, that's right. We got some people who know. 
This thing is awesome. It has like, they're like, it, it magnetizes the screws as well. Ooh. Hey, we've got, we've got people commenting on all my favorite things. Yep, the Spyderco knife. So the one gripe that I have about this so far uh, is that the light only turns on when you're actuating or when you're turning on the drill. And so if you're like in a dark spot trying to get something lit to see it, uh, it can be kind of difficult. All right, so we've got all that removed. Let's see how this comes apart here. There we go. I've been in the knife scene for 10 years longer than Keeves. Wow, how about that? Uh, what's your experience with FRN? Did it develop play? Um, FRN, are you talking about the... Uh, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, cool. All right, I didn't know if this piece was gonna have any play in it. I didn't know if it was gonna be like a magnet, like the uh, Space 65. So this piece right here is actually screwed in. I'm sorry, I didn't get silk yet for my tube light, so it's a little bit of a glare, I do apologize. But that's screwed in with hex screws. And then the liner, the, uh, the polycarbonate uh, liner, the diffuser, I should say, is also screwed in with hex screws, as you can see there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then again, there's the engraving in the bottom, designed by Helix Lab, and we got the little prototype engrave here on the top. The Helix Lab prototype engrave. Um, it handle the handles are F. Oh, oh, oh! So mine is the lightweight version, um, and no, I haven't, I haven't had any like wobbliness or play develop in this. Um, it, it feels, it feels pretty nice. Um, it, it, it has a good. It has a good weight to it too. I, I like how I like how it's been. I like how it's been so far. Um, you know, opening and closing. It's kind of fun to play with. You know, and and yeah. So it's it's fun. All right, let's go ahead and get our weight into position. Drop test. Hello. And then yeah, here's the look at the top of this thing, chat. Would you please? How cool is that? <laughs> when am I gonna buy more gear? Um, well, did I show, uh, Artemy, did you join up in my Discord? Because uh, you can see all of the updates on the, the desk light. Um, I'm actually about to get a, um, I'm actually about to get a uh, link that you can use to, to buy KSAR lights from me. Um, the folks that I've been working with over at KSAR uh, are going to hook me up with an affiliate link. Um, and so I'm pretty sure you'll get like a, I'm pretty sure you'll get like a 10 or a 15% discount with my, with my link, uh, there to, to the light. And this thing, let me tell you is awesome. If you aren't, if you aren't already on, um, some sort of good lighting for your office, like uh, yeah, here, absolutely. Um, it's, I think it's linked in my socials. Yeah, there's Discord. Um, if you aren't already on a, uh, no, we need a different, we need a different hex, of course, too. Of course. Yep. I'm gonna need to get a different one out of my, my box here. Uh, I was gonna say, though, if you aren't, uh, already, if you don't already have a good desk light, Look at Kesar because they're actually really reasonable. These crossfades are incredible. Um, they're really, really nice. And look what I have here. Look what I've done with mine. So mine is a huge, mine is a huge tube light that just goes right above my desk. You can see. So here's me. Here's my camera lens up here, and you can see the crazy hole I cut out for my camera lens. But then you can see there's this huge tube light that goes all the way, there's my webcam up there. <laughs> there's this huge tube light that goes all the way up underneath my desk. And, uh, and then uh, KSAR, KSAR Crossfade is, is, what I'm, is what I'm working with. And then um, take a look at this. I plugged it into this, this outdoor light fixture. And so it's actually on a dimmer. Just look how bright that gets. 
it gets it's like the light of a thousand suns look at my face right now it's so bright the desk actually the desk actually has an iso auto iso on it so it's adjusting whereas my face camera is not auto, auto iso so i normally put the brightness on at about 50 percent um but i just have a smart this is a smart uh this is a smart plug with a auto dimmer on it um and so yeah so everything is like all all smart controlled as opposed to having to like you know manually do anything i don't like manually having to do things i like all of my stuff to be smart there we go all right so we'll need that one for later we'll need this one now I do, yes. So uh, so the tube light automatically diffuses, but things that refract light, as you can see, get a nasty reflection on them, Artemy. Um, we are going to add a diffuser to it. We will, uh, we will get some silk. I'm gonna get some silk on a drop, uh, on a, on a, on a, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna get some silk on a little uh, pull cord. It'll kind of be one of those like uh, retractable, and so it'll retract itself, and I can just pull it out and clip it into my desk when I'm ready. So far, I'm a huge fan of the Wow Stick. So, Chad, I have a question for you. I've kept all of my sponsors keyboard related to date, obviously, and. I'm obviously very forthcoming about when people send me things that I'm reviewing for a company. Um, and I don't think I don't think anyone's minded the sponsors I've picked up so far. I actually got reached out to by Banggood, which is a company that carries the Wow Stick, as well as a bunch of other keyboard switches and all that sort of thing. Um, they wanted to sponsor me and send me things to review. Um, and I've been kind of mulling that one over for the past couple of weeks. Does anyone shop on Banggood and use their services to make to make purchases, be it keyboard or other? I've been kind of wondering if I should, I've been kind of wondering if I should, you know, kind of go that route and see if, and see if, you know, kind of see what the details are for what they want to do sponsorship wise. All right, so here's the here's the keyboard. Here's the bottom of it with the weight and bump-ons now installed. Look at that weight. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Hi, Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Illuminati. The Illuminati weight. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna just put these guys back, pseudo back together. And now, do they have, oh, they do. Now look at this chat. This right here is a huge alignment tab. Do you see that inner, do you see that inner cut? That right here, this whole thing is an alignment tab to keep the keyboard straight. So these halves are not going to go anywhere. Yep. So, Morad, hello. How's it going? And G Willet, it's good to see you. Hello to you as well. Yeah, Wildcat buys a lot of stuff off of there. Yes. Yeah, so Wildcat is also sponsored by Banggood. Um, yep. And so, so I'm kind of curious. Wildcat is also doing a review of the Eru keyboard, which you guys, if you're not subscribed to Wildcat, you absolutely should. The alignment tab is going to be all scuffs after a few builds. How many times do you rebuild your keyboards though, Artemy? I kind of build my keyboards once and then don't rebuild unless there's something wrong with it. But hey, you know, that's true. People do sometimes build over and over again. So here we go. These are the plate screws and it's a pseudo Look at this. So you see what I mean again about the, I'm sorry, chat. See what I mean again about the diffra or the refraction? I need to get silk for this light to diffuse it a bit more. Um, but you can see there's washers in here for the plate. So it's, it's not a true burger mount. Uh, the washers only go on one side. 
um, but it will provide it will provide a little bit of isolation there. Yeah, so we will. I'll, I'll reach out to those Banggood guys here after the holidays and uh, and see kind of what they had in mind. Um, not gonna lie, the mill time on that top is gonna be insane. Yeah, Artemy, I know, right? The the detail on the top of this keyboard is it's it's absurd. It's so good. It's so good. And if you if you join up in their Discord, uh, which you can get through the build command, you can see within their Discord all of the progress they made in the actual prototyping and design of this. They actually made a, a significant number of updates to the hieroglyphics to make them even better. Um, so really really cool stuff. What is your favorite clicky switch? Um, I don't generally go towards clicky switches, but I have these new TTC switches uh, that, that Rico from Helix also sent to me um, that I'm gonna be doing a bit of a review on as well. And so that's a little bit out my wheelhouse. Um, you know, normally normally I'm not I'm not working on clickies, but uh, but but yeah, we'll 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 test those out and, and kind of see if they benefit from a tuning and, and have some fun with them. Um, these are these guys right here. I can actually, I can show you these guys. Um, here's, a little, here's a little sneak peek of the TTC switches right here. So, so they're, uh, no, they're, they're not a kale, I don't think. I don't think they're manufactured by kale. And so, hey Wix, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, but uh, but yeah, Wix, it was definitely it was good to see you, brother. Thank you so much. And so take a look, take a look at this guy. And again, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not certain the full details of these things. But it does have, you can see, it's got Helix branding on it. Helix. And then I do believe, does it say TTC up top? It does. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it says TTC right there. TTC up top and then Helix on the front. And then there's the south facing side there. Uh, it would not support, it would not support in-switch LEDs. So there's a there's a full encapsulation over the LED port there. Unless is there a small no, there's not. Yeah, so there's a full encapsulation there. So, anyways, I don't know much about these. I, I just got these in the mail with the uh, with the Aru keyboard, and so yeah, so we'll certainly we'll certainly look these over and kind of have some fun with them as well. So the TTC keyboard switch. So you kind of just asking about the clicky switches reminded me of those. So good on you. All right. So at four hundred and sixty dollars, the price seems very good with all those milling details. Yeah, I mean, that's incredible. It's an incredible amount of detail in this case. I mean, again, take a, take a look at this. I mean. It's just, it's unique hieroglyphic details all throughout. I mean, these, this is not a repeated pattern, at least repeated in, a, in such a way to where you can see it, you know, in and around the same spot regularly. I mean, it might be a repeated pattern, but there's so much detail in it that it really is just quite unique. It's pretty cool. This is, I mean, yeah, for, for as far as keyboard designs of 2020 go, I mean, I think this one gets an award for one of the craziest, if not the craziest, CNC. It really is something else. So, anyways, we've had some fun going over all the details on this thing so far. I'm going to leave it right here so you can take a peek at that all throughout. And we are going to go ahead and get ready for the stabilizer looting portion of this build. For tonight, I do have about 90 creamsicles all tuned up and ready to go. We used, uh, we used GHV4 on these. Um, or excuse me, creamsicles, cream packas. These are cream packas. What did I put on the build? So these are going to be a nice, these are going to be a nice poppy switch. Uh, I did earn me. Uh, I got the Dalco. Uh, I got the Dalco special edition. I got the Dalco 959 GT, and so mine is going to be a black anodized aluminum with the uh, stainless steel mirror polished weights. 
So it should be, it should be pretty sick. I can't wait. I've been taking allergy medicine for the past couple of days. It's getting better for sure, but man. All right, let's see here. Yo, the packaging is overkill on the switches, on the CTCs. Uh, hey, heaven forbid those switches move an inch and then uh, within shipping. No way. Not once, not never. <laughs> uh, this is the IC, if y'all are interested. Oh, perfect. Is that the IC for the Aero? Okay, the IC for the Aero. Perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. And you know what? Um, I, can, I can add that. I see Neon Kid to the build command as well. Let me do that. Let me do two things here real quick. Let's go here to the build command. I'm gonna keep the Discord link in there as well because you can find a lot of build updates uh, there. And then also the I see is there. Confirm. Okay, the uh, command should be updated now with that now so that People can just kind of hit that as they as they go through bread mold with the three months. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you for that for that tier one or subprime. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Awesome. Um, okay, so I wanted to do one more thing too. What did I? I'm, why am I forgetting? Why am I forgetting chat? What was I gonna also do? Oh, I was gonna edit the build log. And I was gonna change it to cream packas, right? Did I do cream packas or creamsicles? What did I say in the build log? Uh huh, uh huh. Creamsicles. These are cream packas. Cream packas. Confirm. What did I say on Twitch? I didn't say on Twitch. I just said the arrow TKL keyboard build. Okay, cool. All right, now we're groovy. Have you tried the mat? Uh, the mat is a special secret. Do you guys want to see the desk mat? <laughs> Man, that emoji looks so creepy. <laughs> yeah, isn't that awesome? That's going to go right there. All right, uh, I will. I will show the mat off real quick as well, Rika. Look at this. We were going to break this out a little bit later on in the stream. But we've got a desk mat as well. Oh, and we will. We will hydrate as well, Rabbit Sensei. Cheers, everyone. And yeah, Kevin Lau, I'm looking forward to the Dalco. That's going to be a fun one. Um, and Artemy, what about you? Did you pick up one as well? Oh, so and if you go to the interest check, you can see this guy as well. There's a numpad unit as well. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> the desk mat quality is really nice too. Oh, it's very it's a very smooth. This would be good for this would be good for gaming. It's a very, very smooth desk mat. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait, obviously, but this is the full this is the full 900 by 400 millimeter uh, desk mat. Um, we will we will be putting that on the desk for sure. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be very similar, if not exactly the same as this guy. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got a dono coming in. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for the three dollars and eighty nine cents. Stream is awesome. So chill. Laugh sounds like Seth Rogen. Have a good day. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Seth Rogen's got a goofy laugh, but I'll take that. I have a bit of a goofy laugh as well. The Rosetta, the Rosetta Stones, and the Rosetta Stone inspired keyboard. There we go. Bread mold. That's right. Um, okay, so we've got our two hundred five G zero. I did not. I did not oversleep today. I got. I got up on time today, Raz. Um, and uh, you know, you know, I fell asleep, right? I'm actually. I was actually. Um, I was actually sleeping early when uh, 
when when I had to when I had to cancel the when I had to cancel the the modding stream. Okay, so there's all of our housings. We just need some wires, and there should be a full set of wires. Now let me see here. So I have left shift, right shift, enter. Left shift, right shift, enter, and backspace. I need one more 2U wire. Do I have one that has the full left shift, right shift, enter, backspace? There's a full set of wires. There we go. Artemy, thank you so much for the tier one. Tier one for five months in advance. Yo, Artemy. Thank you so much, my dude. I appreciate that, brother. You're too kind. Yeffy, there he is. We've got my my moderators are here now that it's nine o'clock. I threw him off by going live early. What's up, Artemy? What's up, Yeffy? Good to see you guys. All right, so left shift, right shift, enter, and backspace. There we go. And then we've got the six U stabilizer wire for the space bar tonight. Oh yeah. A little bit of an unusual layout here for us this evening. I am so excited to try these cream packas. Hold on, can you? Listen to how poppy those are, chat. Not the smoothest switch, but these were broken in. These, uh, these I, I took back from a colleague who had been working on them for a couple of months. And, uh, and so, so hopefully those those novelty creams are nice and broken in for us. All right, we should be good for the whole kit and caboodle on this one. So let's go ahead and just unbox all of these guys, because I think we'll need them all. There they are. I'm gonna use the washers, I think, to an extent tonight. We'll see how many of them I need. Ramen Champ, hey, what's going on? Good to see you. So, next I have Trash Pandas, Tangerines, or Alpacas. Um, oh, uh, well, I'm a linear guy, so definitely either Tangerines or Alpacas. Um, trash Pandas are good, though, if you like, uh, if you like, uh, if you like a tactile. Where'd you get the washers? <laughs> These washers come with the C3 equals ta uh, stabilizers. So they'll come. That Everything that I just unboxed comes in your in your set. So if you order a set of C3 equals stabilizers from, from TKC, you will get a full set of wires. You'll get the uh, washers. You'll get these stickers that I just threw. So if you have a if you have a thin PCB, you get these stickers actually that will go on the PCB to level out the gap between your washers and uh, and and the uh, and the stabilizer bottom, the PCB on the stabilizer bottom. Um, it's coming back, Yeffy. The scuffed paintbrush. You know it's time. <laughs> oh, Yeffy. Raz, you also missed it. We've got the we've got the wow stick in action tonight. <laughs> I did all the I did all the modifying so far with the wow stick. Dude, this thing is awesome. Like, and it's like for chat for like with the deals and everything you get on Banggood, it's like it comes out to like $30. Hold on, I'm not really gonna do a full review on this thing, but take a look at this real quick, chat. So this is what you get. Hold on, you ready for the funniest box ever? <laughs> this is so good. Chat, this is not not safe for work. Not not safe for work. But look at that. <laughs> what does that first remind you of? <laughs> I got this in the mail and unboxed it. I had forgotten that I bought it, and I was like, oh god, what is this? <laughs> it's the base. It's the base. <laughs> uh, 
So, <laughs> it's just a back massager. That's right. It's just a back massager. And then, uh, yeah, so this guy goes like this. <laughs> I'm dead. What did you do to the wow stick to modify it? What do you do to the wow stick to modify it? What do you mean? We don't modify it. <laughs> maybe you maybe you put a little bit of lube on it if you're if you're doing it for something else. No, it's it's, it's all it's a, you get you get this you get the and of course there you go you get that you get this guy with these with all these attachments. So the box holds I guess the box either holds like the wow stick and a thing of attachments um or a couple of the tubes of attachments it's like a little magnet guy and then you get like another third thing of attachments so there's attachments for days on this thing um i've got i've got the two hex screws out already we've been working with that um and then yeah it is it's usb c or no it's not it's usb mini rip <laughs> Get into you now. Ha, <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> That's what I call a wow stick. <laughs> Chat, please. So, maybe they could have done a little bit of a better job with the, with the marketing materials, but, but it's a pretty nice box. <laughs> everything actually packaged up inside of it is like all nice and secure everything is individually boxed um yeah it was it's pretty nice because it makes you go wow every time every time that's right wow <laughs> They changed the packaging to make it more like apples. Oh, uh, did they? How about that? Yeah, I don't know. I can't speak to what it was before. Here we go. We'll give you guys a little bit of zoom in here. So yeah, so chat, we're just getting our stabilizers ready here. We've got some stabilizer tuning. Buy yours today for only 10 easy payments of $19.99. But wait, but wait. If you call now, we'll throw in two for, for, for no additional charge. Just pay extra handling. And trust me, you wanna pay for my extra handling. Yikes, chat, what are we even talking about here? <laughs> And say, wow, say, wow, why did I read that in a Christopher Walken voice? Say, wow, today, it's the wow stick. Hello. So, Raz, you missed it. Raz, Yeffy. I'm, I'm hinting, I'm hinting at a potential return of the mustache for the week after Christmas. I was saying too earlier, chat, if you missed it, um, that I do believe we will be getting a portico keyboard in uh, that I will be building and uh, building and giving away on stream. So you're going to want to make sure you tune in for that. We're going to be doing that next week, I think. Which content creators got a prototype? Uh, so I know Wildcat got one. I know Andy Wynn got one. And myself. Um, I'm not sure who else. <laughs> oh no, Key Realtor. Say it ain't so. Hey chat, I do think I fixed the gamble though. What's a Portico Rico Keeb? Wait, what? Porto Rico Keeb? Wait, what? Portico? 
I don't think there's no Puerto Rico. <laughs> Kiwi Fruit Bird, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. And welcome. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the Max F family. Why are people losing so much? New types with the tier one. Thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate that, new types. Welcome back, brother. House always wins. I'm telling you. Chat, you watched as I turned the 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 rigging of it down. I I found out that one setting was actually partially rigged in Streamlabs. Um, but I, I think we fixed it. Man, it sure doesn't look like we fixed it. Man, people are losing. People are losing their max oofs. People are losing their hard-earned max oofs. This is a problem. <laughs> hey, so Yeffy, what's the word? Are you guys going to be sending me a Virgo keyboard to build up? Saw some images, and now I'm wondering. Uh oh. Or are you gonna take a stab at it? to build that one. Nice, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's her baby. Haha. <laughs> there we go. I'm stoked that you guys were able to find that. Well, heaven forbid I get in between you and Bree and your baby. <laughs> Oh, the Dollinger is finally on the way. Pray that that thing makes it with all the holiday mayhem of shipping right now. It might be a little bit delayed, but it should it should make it there. It should. It's been so everything's been so delayed. It's really making me nervous. Like I actually, I actually was talking to Suishiro. We decided to hold on to the Switch Couture Alice until after the holidays. I'm just going to ship that thing the week after I get back from uh, my in-laws. Because I'm just too nervous to ship things right now. I had, I had three packages delayed in the last two weeks. Thankfully everything made it, but it's just all so delayed. My mailman has been working overtime in a big way. Like this dude shows up at my house like three times a day. My mailman will get to my house at like 6 a.m., then he'll be back around lunchtime, and then I'll see him again at like 5.30. The dude is a workhorse. Yeah, overnight, going on three days, yep, I mean it is, it's just, holidays are, are, are taking a toll on everyone. And I think, I think everyone is just sending packages more often than they would be because nobody's traveling. Well, not nobody, but a good number of people aren't, which is a good sign. So, it's a drag, obviously, that the post's taking so long, but it's a good sign that more people are sending packages than actually visiting. Did you guys hear about the new strain of coronavirus the other day? I was watching that brief from the UK, that Boris uh, conference. All right, so the stabilizer housings are all tuned up and ready to go. Man, look at us, we are making fantastic timing. Pause not. I'm sorry, chat. I've been I've been having fun chatting with everybody here this evening. I'm not making the greatest timing. I uh, <laughs> I normally I normally can get to the stabilizers, you know, and and have them done by an hour into the stream, and 
we're only just getting to the wire tuning portion of them, so I do apologize, chat, but I don't want to rush this one here tonight, and I'm having too much fun talking to you guys, so I hope y'all are having a good evening, enjoying your time here with us. For those of you who are potentially new, welcome. My name is Max, I go by Max F, and watching me tune some stabilizers if you haven't picked up on that part already. And if you're new to keyboards, these are the, the, the portions of your keyboard that keep your longer keys from, uh, from wobbling. And we tune them up so that they, uh, so that they don't rattle. Because by default, they'll rattle a little bit. And this one, I'm gonna need to retune that wire. And if you have any questions, feel free. Feel free to chime right in. You can at me at any time throughout the stream. I have no worries with that. You will not get shunned at all in the slightest. Alex Sailor, good to see you, my dude. Alex, did you happen to see those uh, those long exposure images that I had uh, that I had sent over to Ecto the other night? I didn't know if he shared those out. I had played around with the black light and the uh, and the P00 glitch uh, in in real low light, doing a couple of like stacks, image stacks with like 30 second exposures. It was pretty fun. Max, why are you so cool? You know, that's a hard one to answer. I think it just comes naturally. It's a lack of effort, I think, that is what is what causes that key realtor. Because I'm clearly the coolest. Look at me, building keyboards on Twitch. <laughs> if I'm just not the coolest guy on the face of the planet, I mean, what other criteria could you be looking for? <laughs> uh talking about talking about my wow stick and keyboards <laughs> uh, oh artemy fucking image stacking never again i'd rather shoot it out <laughs> me too Ooh, now there would be some diffraction find me a lens that does well on f22 this is i am legend movie plotline Oh god. <laughs> yeah, right with uh with the or or maybe like a 28 days later type thing uh with the virus and the vaccine. Hopefully not, right? My wife actually already has the first dosage of the vaccine. So, she'll be getting her second dosage I think in a week or so after the holidays. Pretty crazy. She does. Yeah, she does, Kevin Lau. Yeah. Only other person cooler is maybe Yeffy without his pants. Ooh. What is it a cold? Is it a cold evening? Is that maybe why he's cooler? <laughs> I post terrible photos all the time and people say it's good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Dude, your photos are on top. I don't know what you're talking about. You're just a classic, you're just a classic like photographer nitpicker, you know? I mean, you see your you see your own images and you just see nothing other than things where like, "Oh, man, I wish I could have done this better." Whereas everyone else looks at it and is like, "That's a pretty damn good photo." It's the classic it's the classic artist's curse. It's good though, it keeps you improving. It keeps you forever wanting to do better. Those white backdrop uh, photos that you took, uh, Artemy, of the, were, were they the Heine? Were those the Heine 1 TKLs? What was the lilac keyboard that you took pictures of? I can't remember. Cohen, Cohen takes better shots. Well, Cohen's pretty, Cohen's pretty good too. I like Cohen. We're fans of Cohen Romers on this show as well. 
Yeah, chat, if you're not following Artemy, you should. Artemy, feel free to link your uh, socials here in chat. Um, yeah, what was it that you were taking pictures of? Why am I... Oh, it was the KFE. It was the KFE. It was your special. It was your special KFE that you were taking photos of. Yeah. So chat, Artemy is who I go to when I want to get tips on lighting and photography and videography. And he's probably in the midst of typing something about how he's no expert in any of it either, but, you know, no one is. I think we all just have fun with it. And it's fun to, it's fun to bounce ideas off each other's heads, you know? So, we love talking photography, videography, keyboards, obviously. I'm a bit of a, I'm a I'm getting into the knife hobby. I'm still very early into it, but all, all enthusiast hobbies we're into here. Audiophile, photography, coffee. I'm starting to get into coffee chat. I've made my coffee channel, and I think my coffee channel in Discord is one of my most active channels right now. I love that everyone is like sharing and sending their coffee setups. I think it's so fun, because I am a total coffee noob. But, but yeah, so I mean, feel free to ask us anything about any hobbies. What are you into? Maybe, maybe get me into a new hobby that I don't even know anything about. Yeah, so the new KFE sale, KFE round two, right? Yeah, those, those colors are so good. Hey, Salty Nutter, thank you so much. Yeah, enjoy uh, your evening uh, at work, um, or, or, or depending upon what time it is, wherever you're at, enjoy your work day. And hopefully you're done soon. I'll have a happy thought for you. I can't pick between blue or purple KFE. I do have too many hobbies. The blue picks this weekend with Nautilus? Ooh, there we go, now that'll be good. That'll be good. Yeah. Oh, everyone I think in the keyboard hobby is into the coffee in some way, shape, or form. I love I love the whole like latte and espresso type thing. That's what I really want to get into. And I'm thinking about just going straight up the deep end. Cohen is huge. Speaking of Cohen roamers, he is way off the deep end. Cohen's always chatting with Sam from TGR as well. So, so spoiler alert, if you want to get in with Sam from TGR, if you want to find some commonality there, Sam is huge in the coffee. Sam is awesome. And so, if you want an easy way to Sam's heart, if you simp for TGR like we all do, <laughs> talk to Sam about coffee. <laughs> Send them, send them some of your special beans. <laughs> and trust me, that's not lost on me, the innuendo there. My channel is nothing but stupid dad jokes and sexual innuendos lately. <laughs> I'm sorry, we normally keep this a Christian friendly stream. I do apologize, chat. We're going off the deep end these last couple of weeks. It's the makers, it's the makers Mark Manhattans. You know, I just get, I just get one drink in me and I get spicy. <laughs> Sam's been dead on socials for a while. He just moved. Sam just moved into a new house. Uh, so he, uh, he and the wife are just getting settled in, actually. And so, he'll be back. He'll be back. We all know how that goes. It always takes a little bit to get the studio space set up and get ready to go. And so, yeah, so he'll be, he'll be back. You know, and think about it, too. I mean, Sam not only is, is moving and has all the pressures of that on him, but he's also juggling, you know work and group buys at the same time like he's sending out people's keyboards and he's he's doing quality control still on the ce he had to send the jane v2 ce's back a couple of times um so, so spoiler alert like there's there's no favoritism with me i still don't have my jane v2 ce and so i'm waiting i'm waiting on the last batch as well. Hopefully, hopefully the quality control from this last batch goes well. 
because I know I know myself and a bunch of others are still waiting on that one. Uh, I'm here for the sexual innuendos. Yeah, fee, come on, bro. <laughs> Maybe the real Max is starting to show himself more often. Oh boy. You better hope not, Raz. We'll all be in trouble. <laughs> now nah, we have fun with it. We have fun with it. I haven't insulted anyone yet. I think everyone's having fun with it. If I have insulted anyone, they've remained quiet. So I haven't insulted anyone enough to actually, you know, get them to, sp you know, speak up and say something yet. So, hey, it's all good. It's all good. I do try and be mindful, though, that we could potentially have a younger audience. And, uh... And I think kind of similar to cartoons, my, my innuendos and stupid jokes just go over their heads, so... I think we're okay. I think we're in the clear. And I, and I very rarely curse on my stream, because that would just not be... That would just not be kid-friendly, so... So I think, I think people appreciate that. Ooh, hint, hint, see if he catches it. Uh, what did I miss? I'm here because Yuffie is threatening me with the rush. <laughs> no! Oh, I did catch it. I did catch it. Oh, and Key Realtor. You've... You've given yourself up. I know exactly who the author of my anonymous note is now. Yuffie, you made it way too obvious. Dude. Key Realtor. I have a bone to pick with you. You are too kind. And we're gonna have to do something about that. We are gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> oh, now are you playing dumb? Or do I have the wrong person? <laughs> I think it's the former. It's all good. I won't expose you publicly, but thank you. Thank you. If you were the one responsible for my for my early Christmas present, thank you. Okay, let's clean these up just a little bit and do some tests. I don't think there's too much cleanup necessary. We got these in there pretty good. Okay. All right. <sighs> I'll shoot Eric in the back and dump his body at the diner later. <laughs> He'll be sleeping with the fishes, with his with his with his cement slippers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not with that Yaris. Hey, there's nothing wrong with the Yaris. That's a speedmobile. All right, I'm gonna go uh, go get a quick refill here, chat. Go ahead and take a quick bathroom break. We're done with our stabilizer tuning. So when we come back, we will be ready to test these. We're gonna go ahead and mount them up on the on the on the PCV, and. Uh, our switch is all ready to go, so we'll get those mounted, and we'll start soldering here in just a little bit. So, head up the bathroom, grab a drink refill. If you're feeling inclined, grab something a little heavier and join us with a drink. And uh, I will see everyone back here in just about one minute.
righty. We are back. We are back. We are back. All right. So I was trying to think. Chat, do you think the wow stick will work for the stabilizer installation as well? We've got the hardware for that. Why not, right? Let's see if this will work. Oh yeah, I fully intend to put this to the test. The wow stick. It's just too fun to say it like that. Chat, it's time to take. It's time to take our stabilizers. Stabilizers. And install them on the PCB. That's a really bad Christopher Walken. Man, I haven't done that in a while. Hold on. We can do better than that. You expect better than that, and I will deliver. The wow part is on point, though. The wow part is so easy to say. Wow! Here we go. Dude, that's incredible. The magnet on these bits are really good, too. Oh, yeah. I was laughing. The reviews on these uh, were really funny. People were like clearly trying to use this for something other than like electronics components. And they were like, the power on this is not nearly enough to, you know, drill, <laughs> drill my anchor into the wall. <laughs> I'm like, oh God. You're clearly missing the point of what this tool is for. quite pleased with this thing. I'm just gonna need to figure out what, how I store the bits a little bit better. And maybe I just keep the most commonly used ones in like the magnetic tray or something. Because this implementation is not the greatest. I have to like open this guy up and pull this whole thing out to get to like the one I want. And I can just see over time things are going to loosen up and start falling out of there when I do that. But not bad overall. It's got a good, it's got a good light to it. It's blinding me when I look at it. So much faster installing these with this drill. Oh my goodness. This is a huge quality of life improvement on this thing, chat. Like, this is awesome. I don't get excited over things too often, but this is awesome. Now, normally, 
I'm one to install the plate for the test, however, I kind of want to do this this way tonight. Let's just test our stabilizers with just the... So January, this is actually a new addition. Um, this is the WOW stick. <laughs> the WOW, the WOW stick. You can find it on you can find it on Banggood, uh, as well as other retailers. Somewhere in here is a spacebar chat. I should have put this. <laughs> oh boy, I should have put this aside. Um, somewhere in here, my friends, is a switch that I have colored the stem black on. We just have to find it. Let me know if you see it, chat. It's just one. Just one of these switches has been colored black. The very end of the, s the stem, right up on top. We'll find it. It's got a 90 gram spring in the space bar. It's beside the white switch. Nice. I see what you did there. <laughs> well played. Well played, well played. There it is. Aha! I knew it was in here somewhere. I think this guy right here is the 60. If I'm not mistaken. Grab our beater caps. If I can find them. There we are. That's true. You did tell me. You did tell me. I don't ever flip my space bar, but just in case. Yep, that one. That one goes both ways. Oh, that space bar, though. Chat, we're going to have fun with this build. These creamsicles might be my new favorite thing. So I love watching other keyboard streamers as well, chat. Um, if, if I'm the only one you've seen, well then you should definitely branch out and watch some others. I'm going to do a method that I actually learned from Lulz, where you hold down half the stabilizer. Manoli, what's good, brother? So when half the stabilizer is held down, it it limits the sound from the from the switch, so that you can from the switch and from the well from from everything else, so you can just basically hear the stabilizer itself, and really helps to see if you have any rattle. In the in the stabilizer, which doesn't sound like we do. So yay. There's other keyboard streamers, uh, not that I've heard of. I mean, there's a, there's maybe one or two others, but <laughs> Manoli, Manoli, my dude, how are you tonight? Welcome, my friend. There it is, Raz with the shout out, always on point. 
Thank you, Raz. Appreciate you, brother. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Now we need to get this guy moved over just a little bit. Let's see if I can get this aligned properly. That looks pretty good right there. That looks pretty good. There we go. Oh yeah. I love a good liner in between the PCB and plate. Really makes it, it really makes it easy. The quality of life goes way up installing all these switches, getting them into the right spot. Once they're in there, you don't get any bow, obviously, between the PCB and plate uh, because there's that liner right in between it keeping everything in place. Always a fantastic move for both sound acoustics and build quality of life. Also, thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Interesting left side connector. Yeah, you've got a you've got a north facing or a top mount uh, USB-C port option on this guy. And uh, we are also rocking out with a full strip of LEDs on the back to light up the rear. Do you see it? there's a diffuser right there? To light up the rear of this, of this case. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome stuff. We are on a fixed layout bottom row we have a standard tkl bottom row layout with the three modifier keys on the left and the four modifier keys on the right side pretty clean setup here oh whoops this needs to be my spacebar key not this guy oh almost lost it there we go. My grandma came over to ask for help with her laptop. She'll be calling me for help whenever she gets stuck. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I've been streaming for about two years now, uh, little peep. So just about two years. It's two years here actually this month. It was this month or last month, I can't remember. Can you make a switch with the leftovers of cream pekkas? I think you probably could. It would probably just be similar to an alpaca. The, the cream stems are a bit longer, so they have a real interesting pop to them, Manoli. A real interesting pop. They're kind of fun. I've never used them before. I'm, I'm going to be using uh, some cream sicola switches as well. Tangerine housings and cream stems for my Monokey K build, which will be coming the week after the holidays, if I'm not mistaken. See if this guy's got enough. Can I get that guy in there? Ooh, just barely. Yeah, that liner's just that liner's playing nice. It's just pushing over a little bit for it. We're doing all right. We're sitting pretty. 
What's better, screwing stabs or clipping? Um, well, if you have a gummy worm gasket mount keyboard, you're going to need clipping. However, I use screwing on everything else. Um, screwing is going to make it so that the uh, switch or the stabilizer doesn't pop out on you. Clippings, clippings won't pop out, really. I mean, they can. But if you toothpick mod them well, they probably won't. It's a pretty low likelihood. Um, and and the clip-ins are, are all pre-retooled stuff. And so I haven't had quality control issues with it, similar to kind of what I've had with, with the GMK retooled stuff. Um, GMK retools are, are, are kind of bad. The only screw-in stabilizers that I go with these days, if it's my choice, are C3. They're the only ones anti-wire pop-out technology. <laughs> you like that, Manoli? That anti-wire pop-out technology meme. The V2s I've not tried yet. I might be able to support those, but I've not tried them yet. There potentially will be a day where I try those Duroc V2 stabilizers, but it won't be any time soon. Because <laughs> I was feeling unstable and decided to stock up on all sorts of stabilizers. Why do you have that plush? The plush is actually part of uh, the Helix buy. So they decided to they decided to manufacture these plushes with the uh, with the buy. How good is this? How scary is this plushie? It's so good. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Can this be in the thumbnail? Just might, just might have to be. I think it would. I think it would have to be in the thumbnail for YouTube. We'll make sure it's close. We'll make sure it's close by. It needs to be like, it needs to be like photo bombing me in the thumbnail. Like I'll be here on the thumbnail, holding up the keyboard like this, and it'll be like in the background, like. <laughs> <laughs> So chat, just a tip. I don't know how many, nah, many times you build keyboards. How often, right? But uh, but for those of you that build a little less frequently, lubing is an inconsistent process. We try and lube, you know, as consistently as we can. But you're not going to get every switch as nice as every other switch. And so what I like to do, a little pro tip, I like to uh, just listen to every single one of them, see how it feels, see how it sounds. And I don't go crazy. I mean, I only lubed up 90 of these. But out of the 90 switches I lubed, I've got all of these to play with. I've got all of these to play with. I've got these, you know, less used keys down here to play with. I've got a lot of switches that I can throw ones that I don't think sound or feel as nice. I can push them to the function keys. I can push them to the TKL cluster. And that way my alphas, my alphas really do sound better. You know, generally tune about five to 10 extra and just cherry pick cherry pick the best sounding ones I've never simped for a stream more <laughs> that's oh sh ah, I'm not allowed to say that anymore don't report me please chat the correct verbiage for that word now is I've never tier 3 subbed to a stream more because if you tier 3 if you tier 3 sub to a stream we know what's going on 
<laughs> I'm not allowed to say that word though. Chat got quiet all of a sudden. People are reporting me. I can feel it. Oh no. Let's have another drink. This might be our last stream, chat. We've just said an illegal word. I'll have to delete the VOD. Please don't report me, everyone. Because <laughs> I'm not deleting the VOD either. <laughs> Being a prototype, I want to keep this VOD. <laughs> Would you deprive the world of seeing this keyboard? With a silly word, but a silly word. Have they backtracked on that? I feel like that's something that Twitch is going to backtrack on. What do you think? What do you think, chat? They banned a couple of them. You can look up the new Twitch banned words on Google pretty easily. They banned a few. And I have a feeling there's so much backlash. Um, I have a feeling that they're going to backtrack on that. I was actually talking, I, I messaged I messaged DJ Wheat the other day after the whole thing came out. I wonder, I want to get his, I want to get his input on it. So DJ Wheat is a buddy of mine I used to, uh, I used to play video games with. Hey, we play, we keep in touch, this is so funny, we keep in touch nowadays through playing Clash, Clash Royale. <laughs> but, uh, but DJ Wheat is the... The lead of Twitch for content creator management. And so he he heads up that department. And he streams as well. DJ Weed is a good guy. He used to do a lot of video game casting as well for a period of time. He's got a fun stream. He's a fun personality. Nice guy. Really nice guy. And, uh, and so he's the perfect person for me to talk to and ask the questions of like, hey... How's the backlash going of these words? Who was it that decided to do this? Kind of, you know, what's the deal? Because I can, I can honestly see them backtracking on this one. Did chat freeze for me? Or are you guys just, uh, are you guys just vibing? It's all good if you're just vibing. We don't, we don't need to talk. Nah, chat's not frozen. You guys are just being quiet. What's up, the happy Jack? Good to see you, brother. Just vibing with the jazz. That's what I'm talking about. Well, good. I think that's a good one. That's a good enter key right there. A chat, I think your favorite, I think your favorite stabilized key tonight is gonna to be the enter key. That's what I'm going with. So I have a question. Do I have do I have Rico um or uh, or Neon or Victor? Or are you guys are you guys in chat still? Um because I have a question. Is this an aluminum plate that I'm working on tonight? Oh, you can say those words just not to harass anyone. Okay, got it. Then we're in the clear. We're in the clear. That's good. That's good. Just tuned in. Is that a is that a Jake Me electric screwdriver? Uh, so this one is the Wow Stick One F, I think. It's this guy right here. The Wow. Sorry for the refraction here. The Wow Stick. I just got this guy. It works really well. I just wish it was. I just wish it was USB C. It's a USB mini. There we go. Listen to the pop on this chat. Okay. 
the board is fully locked, stocked, and ready to go. Now, I have a theory that while this is anodized, a gold color, that this is in fact not brass. It doesn't look like brass to me. This is brass. This does not look like brass. Do you agree? It looks like it's an anodized aluminum. If I had to guess, this is aluminum. And I am excited about that. All right, let's test here. See if we got all of our pins through. I'm just gonna take a quick peek here. TKL cluster is all good. Ah, oh, we have a little bit of a bowing on the plate here. It's all good. We'll be able to fix that real quick. The plate is bowed up in the middle just a little bit. That's kind of funny. Oh, ha, bowed up a little bit in the middle. How about I put the rest of the switches in? Probably help, wouldn't you think? I've watched so many car builds this month. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Yeah, Rama, Rama sent out a lot of prototype units. Notice how he didn't send any to me though. Not really feeling the love, Rama. What's the deal with that? Yeah, there's just a slight bow in my plate right here. We'll just have to be mindful of that when we when we build. Everywhere else it's looking pretty good though. And let me check here. I'm just gonna take a quick sweep and make sure all of my switch pins are good to go. These guys are looking good. Okay. It's just in this line right here that there's just a little bit of a bow. It looks like this guy right here needs to do a little bit of TLC. That pin bent down a little bit. Okay. Everywhere else looks good. All right, we are ready to migrate over to the soldering portion of the stream now, chat. Rama hype train. You must be too high end for Rama. I love Rama. I would definitely, I would definitely have taken a Kara. Shit, I would have I would have built up a car and then given it away. That would have been a good giveaway. That would have been a real good giveaway. It's too bad. Too bad, so sad. I don't tier three sub to Rama hard enough, I guess. See, that's the perfect, the perfect utilization of that. Favorite music artist and song? Oh, right now, Lil Peep, I am loving the new Bring Me the Horizon album. Um, I, you might not have seen that one coming. I'm a big heavy metal guy. Um, so I like, I like metal core, I like metal. Um, I like some electronic music. Um, I like like old school rock, pop, or old school rock alternative. Um, uh, pretty much, pretty much anything except country. I'm not a big country music fan. Um, other than that, man, pretty much anything. Like I can listen to anything. Like good music, you know. Pretty much anything. I've gone through lately a phase of just listening to a bunch of really well mixed tracks. So I started subbing to uh, titles. Um, titles uh, like Hi-Fi, like Master's Premium Service, it's pretty painfully expensive. It's $20 a month to subscribe to that thing, but it, the mastered soundtracks um, give you really, really good quality. And so I've been going through listening to some of like the remastered albums, like uh, the old Fleetwood Mac album, Rumors, is mixed absolutely incredibly. 
Um, I've been listening to Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory a lot lately. That uh, LP is mixed absolutely incredibly. Um, the Daft Punk uh, LP, I can't remember the name of it. Um, I can't remember the name. That one's mixed really, really well too. Like, so, so like since I've kind of like gotten onto this audiophile kick, I've been listening to a lot of tracks over again. Like I've been rediscovering a lot of old music. That's it, Raz. Random access memories. Engineered, like from a sound perspective, engineered with such precision. Like those guys are wizards. No surprise. No surprise, right? So. All right, time to solder. Um, let's see here. Hopefully there will be no scuffage tonight when I switch over to the soldering cam. Quick disclaimer, occasionally, occasionally, when I turn on my exhaust fan, my camera and mic have a tendency of cutting out. Hopefully that will not happen tonight. We will find out. Do you use IEMs for hi-fi listening or do you use a separate setup? Um, I do. I use these uh, pretty frequently, um, but I also use my, uh, I use my ZMF A-list quite a lot. I use these guys quite a lot. I love listening on these ones. Um, these are just absolutely beautiful. I love these cans. So there's the ZMFs. Um, and then I also uh, just got a set of Atom A5X monitors, uh, which are quite nice. Um, and the five inch um, does just enough for this room. I think anything more than that would be too much. And like when I have an empty house and I'm like working from home, I can blast some music out of these monitors and they are a lot of fun to listen to. I really enjoy them. But yeah, I've been thinking about the next set of cans I've been eyeing up are the Empyreans. And I think that's it. Like that'll be me jumping to my end game. I don't think I will go for anything crazier than the Empyreans. I will not go for Orpheus. Orpheus is a meme. <laughs> Empyreans will be the deepest I go. All right. I rewired portions of this too. So let's see how well this does. Hopefully we don't lose it. Oh, we lost our camera. We'll get our camera back. Let's do that now. Oh, come on. Sorry, chat, one moment. Uh, no, I shouldn't be muted. I see my mic actually moving, so I think you're... You, can, you should be able to hear me. Max, how is your commission schedule looking? Uh, Nibbles, it's actually looking pretty good right now. Um, things were absolutely crazy for like the month of October and November, um, with everyone trying to release boards all at the same time. Uh, but but yeah, if you're if you're looking to send me something for a commission, and, and real quick, confirm for me, chat. Can you can you hear me? You should be able to hear me. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. I kind of fell for it. I mean, I saw the I saw the meters moving, but I was like, is this lying to me? <laughs> uh, I'm switching uh, I'm switching RTX on, so that should get rid of the fan noise in three, two, one. All right, fan noise gone. Uh, so yeah, no Nibbles. If you want to send me something, uh, message me, and I'll uh, I'll give you a better I'll give you a better ETA. I can probably I can probably fit you in pretty quickly though. I have some openings upcoming here. I have a few things scheduled to be coming in, but they're delaying in terms of shipments. Um, and so it depends. If you can send me something quickly, I can probably sneak it in before a couple of other builds come in. 
Justin. There he is. What's good, brother? Good to see you. <laughs> you have got perfect timing, my friend. We are just in time for some soldering action. Bum, 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 bum. Excited for the Aru, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I've got a constellation coming that I'd love to have your help on. Absolutely, I have not built a constellation yet, so I would absolutely be interested in, in helping out with that. Um, Nibbles, if you're not already in our Discord, go ahead and join up there. Here is the link to Discord and all the other media, if I can type. That doesn't look right. It is right, but it doesn't look right. Why am I misspelling things? There we go. Yeah, Discord's the last link there. And yeah, we'll get you taken care of there, Nibbles. You reckon RTX filter better than just putting a, a low pass one? Uh, I mean, it is RTX. It like cancels it out completely. It makes me sound a little bit like I'm underwater, but it cancels out 100% of the noise. And so I like it. I mean, I think it does. I think it does pretty well. Oh, I just checked all of these, but I missed. I missed one. We've got another switch that needs a little bit of TLC here, chat. Hold on one second. Uh, where is my? Did I put it away? I did. What are you looking for with the exclamation point play command? If there's if there's something you're looking for, I might be able to help you out there, PTO. Oh, Artemy, I know. The 3080s. I'm in the same boat. I actually um, I actually had a guy reach out to me looking for keyboard trades for one, though. Um, I just... I, I don't... I can't remember if I got close to sealing the deal with that one or not. I kind of... Honestly... I fell off the, I've kind of fell off on messaging that guy. Someone had reached out to me. It might have even been somebody who might be in chat right now. It might have been somebody from our Discord, the MaxF Discord that reached out to me. And, and I, admittedly, I'm just forgetting right now. Um, but just so you know, you can hack your way on to RTX Voice. You do not need, I repeat, you do not need an RTX card to get RTX voice working. So if that's one of the driving factors for me, I can, I can link to you all the details on how to get RTX voice working without having an RTX card. You do not even need a 20 series card. I'm using RTX voice right now on a 107, on a 1080 right now. A program called Chris. Yeah, so Crisp is now built into Discord as well. I didn't know they were actually a standalone. It makes sense. So they're a standalone company as well, huh? How well how well do they do? The Discord the Discord um, noise suppression seems seems pretty damn good, I'll be honest. I wonder I wonder how well it, how well it would do with me uh, and this fan. Because I've gotten a couple of comments, like it, uh, clearly it gets rid of all the fan noise, but at the same time, it kind of makes me sound like a bit like I'm underwater. And so that's not ideal, obviously. But keep in mind, I've got noise suppression turned up all the way to 100. And I mean, I'd say we definitely have a much better result on this than we would if I had if I had no noise suppression on at all, and you guys hearing that fan noise, it, it really is insufferable right now. It's quite loud. But it's also quite a necessity because it's keeping you from getting lung cancer. So it would not be good to get lung cancer. I don't know if you can see. 
This exhaust is pulling all the fumes away from me as I stream. I actually just changed the filter out on it too, so it is working really well. Look at this. See, see that shot? Pulls all of the fumes right away from me. You should start streaming art of me, that would be fun. <laughs> I get so jealous every time I see a gaff mat. Haha, <laughs> Jinte. I've had that comment quite a bit. I believe they're gonna be... They, I think they'll run them again. They might. They just might. Don't, don't quote me on that. They just might run them again. Ha, <laughs> they better. Yeah, so Schwang knows who you need to watch out for. Schwang is who ran them round one. And Schwang has been a very busy man as of late. He is running both the Gaff Toys, as well as the CC, as well as, I believe, he is going to be running a KWK mat as well. Now I have one of the earlier KWK mats. Yeah, so Raz, mine mine will be shipped with my CC dots. So I have a I have a KWK mat that that Shuang said he's gonna hook me up with. So I just need to remind him as soon as I get shipping for my CC box, I need to remind him that he's sending me one of the KWKs. He's holding on to one for me. Those KWK mats look awesome. He's he's just nailed the colors on them. They're really, really good. What do channel points do? So, good question. Um, I should advertise this better. So channel points are fun to gamble away. And at the end of the month, you can see the current leaderboards. Um, the current leaderboards are the monthly point earners. The number one point earner at the end of the month gets a free build service from me. So basically, you just pay shipping and uh and and i will build up the keyboard for you that's not for everybody you know some people like to build their own keyboards but we just kind of pass it down to the next person so if if the number one doesn't want a keyboard built or doesn't have something for me to build let me just move down to number two number three you just keep rolling down the list does gamble actually work it does but it's kind of scuffed um I don't know if I would gamble all. I would test it maybe a couple more times. I turned the rigging down on it way low, all the way to zero last time uh, we looked, and it still felt like it was rigging it. And so stream elements, for whatever reason, um, or stream labs, whatever's doing it, I think it's stream labs, I think. No, it's stream elements. Stream elements runs my gamble service. It feels like it's rigging it. I feel like everyone loses. So maybe try like gamble 100 <laughs> before you do like a gamble all. I know I do gamble all every time I gamble <laughs> in Simon's stream. Um, but yeah, I took that I took that concept basically from Simon's stream and I liked it and I was like, you know, this is fun. Let's let's make it mean something too. So Morad gets a free build service as soon as. Uh, as soon as he's ready. I think he's got something for us to sort of build. And I think he'll be sending something to me here the next month or two. I told you, Arden, to just do a small unit gamble first. You gotta warm up the gamble masters. Let's see, is anyone is anyone gonna win? Keep gambling, people. All the degenerates come out of the woodwork. Let's see, is anyone gonna win? Or is the is the rigging in full effect? I feel like I haven't seen anyone win yet. Gamble's totally rigged. I wish it wasn't. I seriously, I've I've looked even with chat multiple times. We've looked at it. We just got an N9 colorway theme going here with this board here tonight. Look at this chat between the between the stabilizer housings and the switches. I think we're just rocking. The N9 on the switch housing doesn't look the same as the N9 on the stabilizer housing. That definitely the stabilizer housing definitely looks darker. So I guess maybe I guess maybe the 
because I know those are N9. Maybe the switches aren't. Maybe I thought they were, though. I thought alpacas were N9 housing. All right, I'm going to do the whole TKO cluster here now. So, chat, I don't know if you've been paying attention. I'm sorry, I saw her a little bit slower than some people. Um, and it depends, right? I mean, too. So I'm soldering a little bit slower, too, because I want to make sure I have good contact points on our PCB. Um, and, and so I don't know if you've been paying attention. I've been soldering just a single pin from each of these switches. And what I do is I take that pin, I turn it molten, and then I push with my index finger, and then I take the soldering iron off to get a good contact point on each of these. Let me zoom in and show you. So, index finger on the switch I'm working on. And I'm ready to push on that switch. I turn this pin molten. I push, and then I take the soldering iron off. That joint turns solid again, and then I take the pressure off of it. Rinse, repeat. It's going to make sure your switch has got a really good contact point with the PCB that way. And you won't have any gap at all between your PCB and your switch, which is what we look for. And then once I've done that with the switches, then I solder the second pin. Now I generally only need to do that for a small portion of the build, but because I noticed some warping in this build in this area right here i'm going to be doing a little bit more of that yeah the clamps are okay but i feel like the clamps aren't perfect still do you feel like they work well enough pardon me i see simon using them all the time i've got a bunch of them too for for holding up photography sheets oh i've got the clamps wasn't that a character from Futurama? Clamps! This guy right here is a big, a big problem. Let's do him right now. If I do the method on this guy, this might fix all of our issues. Oh man. No, we're gonna have to work it a little bit closer to because that might have just pulled a pen. Hopefully we don't have issues with this switch, chat. Let's, let's see. We'll find out when we're done. Hopefully I don't have issues with this pad here now. Yikes. I'm gonna work my way down and I'm gonna get extra extra assistance here from a couple other switches as I work my way back to that one I just did. I've legit never seen that happen. I just did the Woden method on that switch and the switch pin just pulled right through. It didn't pull completely through thankfully but it Definitely just pulled through a little bit. Do you see that guy there on the far right? This guy right here. I don't know if you can see that. It definitely just pulled a little bit. I think it'll be okay. Just use hot swap. Ha ha ha. Come on, bro. Never that. Okay, it held in place there. So the pad is good still. Cross our fingers, at least. The pad is good still. Alright, that, that feels pretty good. These guys look like they need a little bit of help. I'm just going to do a few more. We'll do this row here. Yeah. 
Kind of an interesting spot for Clint to be bowed. It looks just fine on the other side. So, Artemy, you asked me earlier what my next uh, what my next photography dive is going to be. Did I tell you I picked up my 51.4 back up again? Hot swap is the gospel. I don't own a single hot swap right now. Uh -huh. Although, admittedly, I kind of wish I did for a better switch review. I think I might try and get like... Yes, look what I picked up. Look at this behemoth. I picked up the 50 millimeter 1.4 again. It's such a huge lens. This thing is huge. Yeah, so I got it. I got it used. I got it used. It has it has a little scuff here. Although I don't even know is that a scuff or is it? Just gunk that will come right off. No, it's a little scuff on the top. But yeah, it's it's perfect. I mean, lens quality is perfect. I, I took it through its motions and really tested it well. It's so nice, dude, too, with the for videography, with the aperture ring. It's so smooth. So I haven't done much with that yet. But but yeah, no. But yeah, this is this is the sharpest lens on e-mount. Um, Canon does better. Admittedly, Canon, Canon does better. Canon, Canon's RF, Canon's R system, um, the Canon 50 millimeter 1.2 does better. Next, get an F 0 0.95. I have a 1.2. I do. I was taking. I was taking all of my keyboard shots before on this. Uh, Art, you'll remember this one. The Minolta. The Minolta 50 millimeter 1.2. This lens is incredible. The optics on this guy are so good. Do you see that guy? Um, however, this guy does not work on 1.2. The trick with that lens, you buy that lens and you use it on f2. Yep. Spacey, what's happening? Good to see you as well. Hello. It is incredible. The pictures that I've taken on that that have been in focus because it's a manual focus and I'm a terrible photographer are so crisp. But yeah, the for the autofocus system on the E mount, the Zeiss 514 is the best I found. Pound for pound, champ in the 50 millimeter range absolutely goes to the Zeiss 50 millimeter 1.8. But uh, but I'm not going for pound for pound. I'm just going for the pure sharpest optic. And on E mount, I think it's for sure in the autofocus range. It's the 514. You can get the Zeiss Otis for a whopping $4,000 or $3,000, whatever it is, it's absurd. Um, but that is a manual focus lens. And I'd rather have something with a little bit more character if I'm gonna get a manual focus. Why do I feel like there's... This guy's out pushing good. Yeah, this is definitely not push you all the way. Hold on. That one looks good. I need like a second set of hands for this one. Let's do this. Let's work our way from the top down. Zinked, what's happening? Hey, Merry Christmas to you as well. 
So chat, uh, we're working through just a little bit of a difficult part on this board here at the moment. Um, we're, we'll make it through. Uh, there's just a, a little bit of warping on this guy that I'm uh, forcing my way through to make sure we get good contact points on it. So, so I do apologize. I know soldering is taking here a little bit longer. I'm working in this section right here. As soon as I get through this, we will be good because I've got good contact points on this whole side of the board. Soldering will be much, much faster on this side of the board. I just pretty much need to get to this row right here. So like anything in here, these guys need a little help. Can I go get a snack? Absolutely not. I do not give you permission. <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need permission for me to leave. You're not going to be missing much. I'm just going to be working through this and soldering here. We probably have got soldering on the docket here for the next, probably the next 15, 20 minutes or so. So yeah, so Artie, what's uh, what's next? What's next on your list? You, uh, you expecting uh, anything insane for the Hobbits? And chat, what have you guys got coming in? Any new toys that you're expecting? What have you treated yourselves to for the holidays? I love talking gear acquisition. And photography, coffee, keyboards, audio file. I mean, you pick up a video card. What do we got, chat? Just anything, everything. Tell us in. What are you looking at? Got a barley corn to build this weekend. I'm not even sure what that is, Happy Jack. School me on that. What is that, bro? <laughs> I always wonder if the miner's popping up a little bit here on this side right here. We look okay from from the standpoint of the bottom layer, the bottom row. We look good, so that's good news. Like our space bar looks really good. I might just be getting a little too OCD on the chat. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just build, and if we have issues in post, I can go back and repair. You know me though. I just get. I just get. Let me see you. I go for utter and complete perfection. You know me, chat. If it's less than perfect, I don't care. I'll start sweating on stream. You know, perfect. <laughs> A friend helped me now. A PS5 from Walmart, and I couldn't be happier. Nice. That's a big pickup. Those have indeed been difficult to snag. Congratulations. Sending good vibes to other people looking for one? Yeah, if you're looking for anything like that, a PS5 or one of the new video cards, good luck, friends. I know that those are difficult as all get out to get a hold of. So, good luck to you. Yeah, see, Effie, I know what Bree got for Christmas. What do you got? What do you got coming in? So, and what is it that you're going to play on PS5? What are the uh, what are the good titles on PS5 right now? Uh, 
I wanted to play a PS4 uh, title for a while. I wanted to play the Final Fantasy VII remake. I haven't played that yet. I don't have a I don't have a PlayStation. Is a problem. I wish it would just come out to PC already. Is that a gaff mat? It is indeed. It is indeed. <laughs> What's up, Z? Good eye. Christmas crack and ginger ale. Is Christmas crack is that uh is that that candy? I can't remember it. I'm trying to think. I think I've had that before. I'm trying to remember what it is though. Ryzen 9 right now costs as much as a 2950 Threadripper. Oh god. Isn't that crazy, Spiked? Yeah, people are... People are going insane trying to get a hold of these things. It's gonna get even worse, too, especially if we get another, uh... If we get another check. There's potential that there's gonna be another stimulus check coming in, so you know there's gonna be a ton of people looking to cash in on their stimulus check with more tech goodies. The supply chains are so slowed down right now too. Kimchi, what's good, brother? So many people building TKLs. Interesting mounting points. What's up? What's up, brother? Uh, interesting mounting points. What do you mean? Oh yeah, they are kind of interesting mounting points. Have you seen this one yet? The arrow. The arrow is so beautiful. Arrow is so lit. I'm waiting on five boards. What's wrong with me? Haha, <laughs> Danny boy. No worries. You're in good company. You're in good company here. I'm waiting on a similar number. Um, I think the liner might be maybe a little bit thicker here, or maybe shift it over a little bit, because despite my most valiant effort in pushing, these uh, switches aren't really fitting the contact points. Not really, at least. That's a good one there. Yeah, this is really like a two-person job right now. I need another set of pants. Who wants to come over real quick and help me? Help me solder some pins in as I push this down. Okay, so I need to put some major pressure on this guy. No, I just simply don't have the hip string. Ah, there we go. That one's pretty good. Christmas crack is caramel on salt and cracker with melted chocolate on top. So I got it. I got it. That does sound good. That does indeed sound like crack. I do not 
have good pills on this. Oh, it's aggravating me. Hey, Nibbles. Uh, Nibbles. Look at tier one. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You are too kind. Putting all that effort in. Putting all that effort in is talking maybe listen to the subscription. I appreciate you, my dude. Thank you so much. Know that I am destroying my fingertips all for the stream here tonight. And my fingertips, let me tell you, are getting destroyed. This section right here, which we are just about done with now. I think we'll be all right for the chat. I think we're good. Ooh, there we go. All right. All the rest of these pins look glorious now. All right, we're good. Where are the family condoms? I need them. Oh, man. You're telling me. I need, like, huge padded gloves. All right. Let's get this ready. Let's tin this. Boom. Let's go. Time for some speed soldering now. We are gonna knock out the rest of these pins, chat. They don't stand a chance. Catch up the chat here in just a second if I'm missing anybody. So chat, while uh, while I am not paying attention to you real quick, I do just want to shout out a couple of people. I want to uh, go over some sponsor reel and, uh, and say thank you to you as well for tuning in. If y'all have just tuned in and, uh, and have not heard my spiel yet, welcome. My name is Max. I go by Max F. And... You are watching me build a keyboard here this evening. I'm just finishing up the solder portion of this stream. So I hope you're enjoying the the jazz music and chill vibes. We try and just create a nice, relaxed atmosphere here as we build keyboards just about two to three times a week. So if you're enjoying this kind of content, please feel free to hit that follow button. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, and I also appreciate all the help I get from my sponsors. If you want to check out the sponsor link below, I do appreciate you heading on over and supporting those companies that support me. I'm not going to go into full detail explaining everything that every one of my sponsors has got currently running at the moment, but, uh, but many of those are referral links there, especially the ones for ZillPC and ProjectKeyboard.net. Those are referral links that, uh, that, that go a long way to help support my stream if you use those links when you're checking out on those websites. So, thank you so much for showing me any type of support that you do. I really appreciate y'all. Alright. And with that said, I think we are done with soldering here this evening. Let's get a quick check here on all of our pins. Yeah, I've got a couple in this section right here that are just not, they don't have the most fantastic contact points, but 
they are good enough. I shouldn't have any, like, really right here. This second row and this row right here. Hopefully, I don't have any actuation issues in there. If we do, we might need to go back and desolder and just push those pins through a tiny tad more. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's plug this guy in and test it and see what we got. I think we're good. I think we're good. From a... From perspective here, I do see a little bit of a bowing of the keyboard, but it's not that much, and it will get it'll get flattened out when we mount this thing in the case. So I'm not too concerned there. Right, I'm going to leave my iron plugged in here for a bit longer. Um, I'm just going to turn this back so down and grab this. Yeah, we've got some LED effects here. All right, let's go here. So I'm not going to get into it tonight, but know that this keyboard uh, is on QMK. So you do have uh, via compatibility. The tricky part is these guys here. Are all of these guys working? Oh, beautiful. They are. Um, really good. Awesome. Oh, and look at this chat. It has a built-in... It has a built-in uh, indicator on caps lock. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. And I'm assuming this is function. Oh, and I know it is. I know it's function because um, it is uh, function F4 and F3. Okay, so these guys right here, so this guy, F4 and F3 are gonna be my indicator lights. So yeah, we can we can have fun with that here once we get it in the case. Awesome, okay, we're good. Uh, everything tested out properly on the PCB. Good news there, two thumbs up. Um, all right, let's turn the fan back up. Hopefully I don't lose my microphone or my camera. We'll be back in two seconds if I lose either. One second, let's see here. Hello, test test. I lost my camera again. We're two for two with my camera going out. Now, hold on. Come back to the camera. Deactivate and activate. There we go. Okay. All right. So the microphone is good. So that's good news. There we go. Okay. Mic quality should be much better now as well. Yeah, sorry about that chat. I, I, I actually, I have no excuse now. I was actually just rewiring a whole bunch of things after I mounted all of my uh, KSAR light, my tube light that lights up my overhead angle. I mounted all those cables behind my wall and I should have taken that opportunity to rewire that fan for whatever reason. I just wasn't thinking about that and subsequently didn't. All right. All right, let me put my iron over here tonight. There we go. And let's unplug this guy. All right, let me catch up on chat here. You mentioned games before. Have you or anyone in chat played Hades? Uh, I have not played Hades yet, Nibbles, but I've seen that game played. It's a pretty cool looking game. Um, I, I'm all about Path of Exile. I like that game a lot. Although I haven't played it all this season. Um, have you tried Gatoron Clears? They sound good in videos and stuff and I might get them when I build my keyboard. Dude, nice. Um, I, I have not. I have not tried Gatoron Clears. Um, I'm big on the Gatoron Yellow Switches. Um, I like those a lot. My... My Ogre keyboard here is built up with Garys, which are Gateron Yellows with a um, with a uh, cherry top, and man, they sound great. Uh, GHV4 is a mix. It's a lubrication mix that Zeal PC made. Um, he ran several rounds of that. Um, unfortunately, not an easy thing to find these days. You should absolutely reach out to Zeal and say, hey, run another round of GHV4 because those things are awesome. All right. 
Yay, we're done with soldering. All right, chat, it is time. It is time for a couple things here. All right, so you guys like this desk mat, but wait just two seconds. I've got something fun to show you. You wait just two seconds, chat, because we are about to put this in the case and we've got a fun new desk mat to show off with it. Hey, Lil Peeps, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. You have a wonderful evening as well. All right. That's unfortunate timing. You made it so far. And you're going to miss out on the, on the typing test. That is truly unfortunate. Well, tune in for the uh, tune in for the conclusion on this one. Make sure you check it out because this guy looks beautiful. I'm really stoked for this, guys and gals. Our Gat Yellows on your main build? Yes. So uh, Gary's Gary's are on my main build. I have Gateron Yellows in this guy right now. This is my daily driver. Gateron Yellows with uh, with cherry tops. I rotate pretty frequently though too. All right. Oh no, my HHKB here is uh, that's um, that's an HHKB professional. Uh, it's a Topra board with uh, with uh, Real Force. I use Real Force sliders um, with the Real Force silencing rings on it and uh, and 3204 lube on this guy. So. Here's this guy here. So pretty juicy sound signature on that one. Well, uh, the HHKB is uh, split backspace uh, by default. That's kind of like the only option you have with it. best backspace uh, so I'm totally opposed to split backspace normally <laughs> I hate to disagree with you there but uh, but yeah I'm I'm a I'm a 2u backspace all the way for my normal boards is it true that you need five pin switches for half plates and plateless boards absolutely absolutely true Oge Poge, thank you, and a happy holidays to you as well. It's been a while since I've seen you. I hope you're having a great, uh, I hope you're having a great year at school, right? If I remember correctly, that's where you've been at. <laughs> oh, chat, look at this. Beautiful. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. All right, um, I have longer screws, which go in the back, if I remember correctly. 
and the shorter screws go up front. Ah, back from break, nice. Yeah, well I hope you're having a good holiday as well. Hope everything went well with your first semester, yeah? Or with your first semester, I assume. Hope everything went well with your fall semester, whatever semester it ended up being. Huge quality of life improvement with this chat. Very, very limited torque on this too. I don't know if I would trust it on a polycarbonate board, but it has very limited torque on this. So for aluminum boards, no worries with this guy. Okay, chat, look at this. How's the anno of the board? Oh, it's great. It's great looking. And I do apologize. It shows my fingerprints a lot right now. But yeah. Well, Oj Poj, you tuned in for a great conclusion here and a great build. We uh, we have a really fun one here tonight. Uh, this is uh, this is a prototype board that I'm uh, building for myself. So the the guys over from the Helix team sent this over to me, um, and. Uh, and yeah, I was really pleased to uh, to be able to be included in this prototype uh, showcase. So uh, myself and and Andy, uh, as well as uh, Wildcat, got one of these, and and they are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the look at the quality of this engrave here on the top. It just looks absolutely impeccable. Look at the detail on this chat. It's just so crisp. It turned out so clean. Yeah, so really, really, really good. I'm so pleased with this. So here's the reverse of it. The Eru. And then this guy should light right up when I plug it in here. There we go, there's our light bar. And I think... Yeah, so I got a couple different options, turn it on or off. That's pretty cool. Look at that chat. Wow, really nice. And now these are just prototype units, so, um, you know, if you. I don't really see too much in the way of issues with this unit. However, you know, keep in mind that if you see any issues with it, know that these are prototype units. So, you know, for, for group by units, they probably work that out. And of course, with black anodization, I mean, it's just kind of part and parcel that you run into some issues with uh, fingerprinting, right? But, but yeah, other than that, it's just really, really nice. It's really cool. And then here's the back of it. So yeah, let me show you, let me show you all uh, this thing without any keycaps on it. And then we need to figure out what keycaps to put on it. Chat, do you think we should just do like, I have a nice primo set of GMK Wob. Should we just put Wob on this thing? I do not have black on white. I do have white on black though.
yeah, it really, it really turned out awesome. And look at this mat, it's so cool. The Helix. I can do a beige set as well, should we want to do that. I mean, I can just I can just strip off like K1953 if we want to do that, but I think Wob would look really good on this. Let's do a Wob set on this guy, chat. You know what would look really good? GMK9s would look absolutely incredible on this. I wish I had GMK9s. Where did I put it? Did I put Wob? Did I put it on something already? Whoopsie. Yeah, nines would be really good. Or like GMK Noir. Noir would be really cool with this too. Um, yeah, let me... Uh, where did I put... I thought I had, I thought I had a white on black set. Oh, you know what? I do. I do, I do. Now normally I let, normally I let you guys choose what keycaps, but I really kind of want to put, I really kind of want to put white on black on this thing. Um... I think that's just gonna show so nicely for pictures. Didn't I have? Where did I put it? I thought I just had a set of GMK Wob. Oh, I do. Here. Yeah, we have a fresh set of GMK Wob right here, chat. Make a pole. <laughs> you guys really want beige? You guys think beige over Wob on this? Look how good Wob would be. The Wob is so clean. I will consider NCR. But I think, I think I'm going to go with Wob. I would consider NCR. Although no, NCR wouldn't work because I don't have, like all of my, all of my beige sets are OG chat. And OG doesn't have good uh, standard keycap compatibility. And so, half Wob, half beige. I'm sorry chat, I'm vetoing you. We're putting Wob on it. Let's take a let's take a field trip. Let's take a field trip and let's see what let's see what keycaps that they put on it for the uh, for the interest check. Let's see here. Let's take a little bit of a field trip here. Come on a journey with me here, chat. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, here are your couple of different options that you can look forward to with this keyboard if it goes into group by. Ah, see, there we go. Wob, I'm trying to tell you. That's an SA Wob set there. I'm trying to tell you, Wob is just gonna be so clean. It's gonna look so good. So here's a, here's a polycarbonate with what looks like the titanium gray. Yeah, look at these look at these options here. Here's beige. This is what beige would look like. We could put a CRP set on it. Bob looks so good. Ha, <laughs> more of the plushies. Here's those here's those switches. Here's those clickies that we got the TTC switches. Yeah, look at that. It's so cool with the boxing. Oh, so good. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do 
We're gonna do just from a from a quality of life standpoint. We're gonna do wob on it tonight. <sighs> that was weird. I had some like debris back there. Some debris. I have a feeling, chat. Oh, these are gonna have a punch to them. Cheers, everybody. We made it through the build. We made it through the build. Everything is testing out properly. We're looking good. These are gonna be so clean for pictures, too. Wob is gonna look so good. Absolutely will, Artemy. I'm gonna have fun with that 51.4. I'm gonna go to the home goods store too and uh, pick up some more backdrops. Wob is always such a pain in the butt to photograph, but this is like, this is just about a new as of Wob set as you can get. And so. It should photograph, as far as Wob goes, pretty darn well. Ho ho ho, chat. I think this is gonna sound pretty good. Yeah, big diffuser. <laughs> Well, for taking the photographs, I do better than the tube light. For taking the photographs, I'll actually use the, the proper light box. So I need to go get I need to go get that silk as well. The silk is gonna help with this overhead camera in getting rid of the in getting rid of all the reflections. It'll be so much nicer. So I'm a big fan too of when there's a nice when there's a nice like spacing between the keycaps and it it looks like we have one of those like key cold esque spacings between keycaps here on this. Have you guys noticed that? Like with uh, with key cult you can see a little bit more of the plate in between all of the switches. Just a minute little amount more. Like you can see, as I load these up, you can see the, the, the gold plate peeking through just a little bit. I think that's such a good look. I love seeing that. Uh, no, I mean, you can find, you can find GMK Wob on, uh, on aftermarkets as well, um, but but yeah, to buy GMK Wob new, drop is the way to go. Yeah, it's pretty cheap on there right now, but there it's not on there at the moment. No, you need to go aftermarket right now. It's like a pre, it's like a, it's like requesting it right now. It's the only way to get it. MT3, what a joke. Why would they not always just run WOB? It would just always sell. Like, just constantly keep it in stock. The Rosetta Stone TKO. You got it. You got it. Uh, let's see here.
Oh, did they? That might be that might be why too that they're not running it right now. GMK Wob on Amazon is hundred dollars flat right now, under drops page. No, no shit. You can get it on Amazon. Is it like Amazon two day? Thanks, Froggy Boy. Yeah, it is. It's really looking clean. I agree. Really looking clean. Really, I mean, all all praise goes to Helix Lab. Um, these guys, these guys did a really good job with this keyboard. I, I'm super impressed. Um, the the build was was relatively painless. I had just a little bit of issues with the uh, with the plate bowing, um, but but having it mounted has flushed out all those issues. I'm not sure if you can see, but we are perfectly flush on keycap row profile right now. I don't know if you can see how everything is in a perfect line, but it is. So, yay, that's good. Um, and, and yeah, take a look at this chat. Wow. Just really, really clean. So I hope you guys don't mind that I vetoed beige and went for white on black tonight. I think it was the right call, ultimately. I think that looks really, really clean. I know it's a little bit more boring, but we have this fancy top already on it. I didn't want to take away from anything on this hieroglyphic top. All attention goes to Helix Lab and their beautiful CNC work here. I mean, it really just is quite incredible. So it's a low profile, if I can get a good angle, low profile TKL. Matt, just wow. Just wow. This is just a fire build chat. There's your your RGB action. All right, let's get a sound test. Test queued up. Have they said how much the keyboard will cost? Yes, so the group buy information is in there. It's 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 a mid four hundred dollar figures for the uh, for the price on this. All right. Chad, I don't mean to, to bait you out and delay, but I need to wash my fingers. Give me just a second. We'll do the typing test as soon as I get back. One minute, promise.
Alright. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mute the music so you guys can hear. Here are your mods for the evening. I did, yeah, I made all the transitions myself. Um, thank you. Yeah, so they're they're pulled from a uh, they're pulled from a, a website. I just modified them a little bit. That feels sluggish. There it is. Ah, thanks, Artemy. Yeah, so Frog Boy, they might sound a little bit scratchier, but they have a fun pop to them. These stabilized keys are having a little trouble. There we go. No, just one. Just the Neumann. Ooh, backspace is the best one. Fun pop to the board. Um, yeah, cream packas are not the smoothest. but they have a really nice pop to them. They're very lively, very fun. I like the sound signature a lot. All right, let's jump in to the typing sounds. Let's see what it sounds like. Fatigued myself hitting the mods. <laughs> Here we go. It really does sound fun. I love the sound of this. What kind of mic did you get, Artemy? Ooh, a Stellar X3. Isn't that supposedly the uh, 
the one that's kind of like the Neumann U87 clone. <laughs> yeah, the Neumann is expensive. All right, chat. We're going to hit 120 here. You ready? I'm ready. This is a drink of power right here. Let's get spicy with it. Are you ready, buddy? Let's take a look at everybody in the audience. There we go, Mr. Plushy. He's ready. Frog Boy, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. All right, let's go here. typos short on the raw bummer pretty good though pretty good all right let's turn that back around so uh so chat you heard it you make your own conclusions on what you think it sounds like so i won't talk much on sound i really like the sound of it though personally cream packers are pretty cool um, from a feel perspective, they are less smooth than a JWK linear. Less smooth, for sure. Um, God, from a look perspective, I mean, chat, just drink that in. Like, look how good that is. Chat, like, look at it. <laughs> this is fun. This is a fun build. I want to give a quick shout out again to Helix Lab. Thank you so very much for including me in this. It was an absolute pleasure. I really enjoyed building this. I think it is a phenomenal looking keyboard. I cannot say enough. I'm so pleasantly surprised at how well this looks and how well it turned out. Um, I apologize for the music volume. Uh, it sounds like it's a little bit too loud. Um, anyways, um, I'm not gonna talk too much more. I think we are good here tonight. Thank you everybody so much for hanging out with us here. Um, I wanna say to everybody real quick as well, thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your year have a happy new year thank you so much for hanging out with us here in 2020 i know it's been a bit of a crazy year so uh so cheers everybody i have one last sip here we made it through 2020 amen to that cheers everyone so thank you we will be live one more time if you are able to hang out with us the week after Christmas. So we'll get one more build in before the holiday. Like I said, I'm hoping that the TKC Portico will arrive in time for us to build that up next week. 
and do a giveaway stream on that. So thank you so much again for all the support. Tune in for that next week. Um, and and yeah, Helix Lab is here in chat. Um, guys, again, if you, if you have any questions about the Helix Lab Eru TKL, head on over to their Discord. I just used the build command, my, my bot is lagging. Their Discord is linked in the build command. Head on over to the interest check on Geek Hack. Rico and the rest of the team, Rico and Neon Kid and uh, Victor were here in chat with us. Uh, Victor, I think his name was. I'm so sorry if I'm forgetting your name. But thank you so much, guys, for tuning in with us. And uh, and yeah, we are going to find somebody um, to, uh, to rate here this evening. Let's see who else is doing keyboard things. We got Andy, we got Lulz, we got Mex on deck, we got Top Clack, oh my goodness, Basic is on here, Katakana, Katana Kaji, Dr. Hervu. oh my goodness, we have so many people doing things. All right, let's, let's go down the list here and let's just see what people are up to. Let's see here, chat. Ooh, Haru is doing a Heine one, huh? Let's see here. What is Andy up to? Oh, Andy's Andy's giving us a glare right now. <laughs> so Andy's building a Geon, an F1 ADEX build. There we go. Andy's Andy's got the desk mat too. Andy's got the desk mat. Let's go, Andy. All right, so that's looking cool. We might do we might do the Gion. Is this a Stussy logo? What is the Stussy logo doing on this? A TGR Jane V2 red. Bowles has got a hat on tonight. Look at Bowles with a hat on. It is a TKL kind of night. We got a TKL on Andy. We got a TKL here. We got a TKL with Bowles. What's Max doing? Ah, Mechs on Deck looks like they might be doing giveaways. They got Top Clack and Mechs on Deck. It's a Top Deck holiday stream. There we go. Mechs on Deck is having Top Clack on for a holiday stream, I should say. Man, it's a fun night for keyboards. Oh, are they doing, are they dual streaming? They're dual streaming. That's kind of cool. And then let's see here. What's, what's Katana doing? Oh, I'm getting advertised on this one. Basic, what are you doing? Basic is doing a profit unboxing and a build. So Basic has got a lot of work to do still. She's tuning switches right now. And then Dr. Uru has got a Heine, ooh, a friends and family gold Heine build. Did Haru's camera freeze on him? Oh man, chat, we've got so many people to go to. What do we, who do we want to raid tonight? Who should we go to? Do you want to read? Do you want to read Dr. Uru? What do you guys think? Let's uh, put on the put on the uh, bonbons first. Yeah, let's head on over. Let's head on over to Dr. Uru. Let's see here. We'll go over here to Dr. Uru and. Yeah, let me go ahead and raid. There we go. All right, beautiful. All right, thanks again, everybody. The raid will be ready in just a second. Yeah, we are raiding the good old doctor tonight. All right, everybody, we will see you next week. If y'all celebrate it, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays if you don't. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, everything else in between. And a happy new year if I don't see you guys next week. See everyone. Good night.